Welcome back to my channel. No, I'm just kidding. I'm Juanis Santa Cruz. I am from Lima, Peru. And today I'm gonna do the mojantado. And that is also called um, salted beef. And you're gonna join me, so let's, let's just start. Now I'm gonna introduce you all the ingredients that we need. It is a very simple dish, so you don't need much. So first, you will need one onion. Then you will need three tomatoes. Then, you're gonna need a little bit of meat. And for the salted beef, you also will need salt, um, garlic, pepper, sauce, and french fries. So, uh, but you will need rice, some, I like to add some, some different uh, vegetables to my, to my rice just to make sure that it's tasty and water. Okay, so first we're gonna do the rice. Okay, so I'm gonna first use um, a little bit of oil over here. So, yeah. Then I'm gonna use the salt. I really like to, I love the rice a little bit salty, um, but you can do with less salt, depend as, as you prefer, really. And I also like that my food is really garlic, so I'm gonna use some garlic over here. And then I'm gonna add one cup of water. So I'm doing one cup of rice, but if we are doing one cup of rice, we need one cup and a half of water. So I have it already over here. Just to tell you, I really like to do rice. It's super simple. As you can see, I'm just mixing everything, and it you don't need that to take that much time to make your rice really. Then you just have to mix everything here. is ready. I'm gonna close this and start cooking. So now we're gonna start doing the fries and I'm gonna put the french fries to the oven. Okay, let's continue. Well, now we're gonna continue and we're gonna do the most important part of this dish that is actually to do the lomo saltado. <laughs> so I have ready. I we need to have a little bit of oil over here. Um, then we are gonna add the sway that is heats a little bit, and then we're gonna add all the meat. So I know for sure, and this is actually a fact that this dish is one of the favorite in the dish for almost, if not all, Peruvians. <laughs> because it is really classic, um, actually really, people enjoy to have this type of fish any day of the week. Okay, it's not only on a weekend, but actually any day. And I remember when I was a kid, my mom, my mom actually loved to cook, I do love to cook really, really much. And I remember when I was a kid, we used to have this dish very frequently, so this is not, it's not only one of the most famous one of my country, but at the same time, it brings so much memories of my childhood, of my time with my family, that that's why I love so much Lombo Sartado. I think it's my dad's favorite dish as well, so it's a great one. I hope that really that you can do the dish in your house. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce so we can have a salty flavor. In Peru, we have a lot of Asian influence, like cuisine, cuisine influence. Um, that's why we're actually using here soy sauce. And it only makes our food even more delicious, so it's a great fish. Okay, so the food is ready, and I'm gonna continue with the next step. 
So what I'm gonna do next is to bring the vegetables. So I have over here the onion and the tomato. So the onion takes a little bit longer to, to cook, so I'm gonna put it first. the vegetables. This is how it looks. So we have the rice, the fries, and the lomo. It looks really good, it smells really good. I can't wait to start having dinner. And I just wanna say thank you everybody who actually put this activity together. I think this is a great opportunity for international students to share our cultures to everybody. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I hope you can do this delicious dish at home and you enjoy it as much as I do. So thank you very much and bye!